All right, this is from a man, Eli. This is how you add PC games to LaunchBox, because I just started doing this today. So I thought I'd give you a, a quick tutorial. So on the left here, we've got our D drive, arcade, system ROMs, PC games. So this is where you would put the individual PC games. And this is just what I copied over today. Obviously, there will be a lot more. But what's important is the shortcuts folder. So what you want to do is, like before, say you've got, here, let me delete these, so start from scratch. I was going to add the Ice Cold Beer and Zeke's Peak game, so we'll delete these shortcuts. So say you want to add those games. So they're in here, and you just launch them, these straight executable files. So you can pretend these are those loader.exes too, which, whichever, you know, the game requires to work. You right-click, I'm going to copy them over here with uh, Explorer, and I just say create shortcuts here. I right click again, cut, go back into PC games, shortcuts, put them in here. Basically, anytime you wanna load a game, you're gonna put the shortcut in the shortcuts folder. Now, this is how you install them over to LaunchBox. You make sure you're in the PC games platform. You take your Zeke's Peak, your ice cold game, or ice cold beer, and you drag it in here. And it's gonna say, what are these? Um, and it's gonna, you know, not know what they are. They're not ROM files, they're not DOS games, they're Windows shortcuts. So you say, none of the above. Okay, so they're PC games platform, what's it gonna scrape as? And that all this matters is for um, artwork. So I'm gonna say Windows, because they're technically computer games, but I highly doubt LaunchBox has art under the Windows platform for these, but just just for grants. For any other game that is like on Steam, you'll want to use the Windows to scrape as. Um, then it's going to ask you, do you want to copy the files? You say no, using the current location so it doesn't move things around. Do you want to get metadata? Yes. Do you want to get artwork from LaunchBox? Yes. Uh, if you have an Emu Movies account, it'll say, do you want to get even more artwork from there? Yes. And then also look for the PDF game manual from there and then this is where you would change the name of your game if it's being weird or if it's loader.exe just get all the cruft out of there because this is what the actual game name will be in launchbox so just take out because the shortcut name doesn't matter the path will stay the same but the name you want to clean up to make it look nice hit finish and then launchbox will act like it freaked out for a second and you might see this progress bar I had at the bottom uh, the whole time. It's actually importing all the NES games. And it can you can do import jobs while you're downloading art. It's actually downloading 20,000 items of art for all the NES games. So two games were imported successfully. There's your two games. Now you can proceed to edit. And you can try to search for metadata. But like I said, these are weirdo games. So I don't think LaunchBox is going to have any art for them. But if they were normal, you would say go get it and it would download some art but i'll have to go grab that uh another way and that's for another video that's it let's uh so let's test it real quick so here's the launching command it's just going to launch that shortcut hit okay now if we right click and hit play it should go play the ice cold beer oh it needs direct play oh, what the hell is that oh, anyway let's install it Like I said, fresh drive, nothing on it. Might need to restart, I don't want to. Oh, there it goes. So there you go, ice cold beer, root beer, and Zeke's Peak.